Dear students, today we will discuss that is dicyclo mean. Dicyclo mean means we are discussing about complete package of dicyclo mean. That is uh, which category, uh, which category uh, on the basis of category, how, what is the mechanism of action, on the basis of mechanism of action, what is the usage of that dicyclo mean and what uh, in chemistry point of view means that is the medicinal chemistry point of view that what is the usage of uh, dicyclomene as well as the structure of dicyclomene how we can correlate the structure with the IUPC name and how we can remember that particular structure that we will discuss okay uh, apart from this we will discuss also the synthesis of dicyclomene okay let us start from the dicyclomene Dicyclomene is also known as that, that is dicyclovarine. It belongs to anticholinergic category, uh, which is also known as parasympatholytic agent. Okay, now come to the how it is parasympatholytic or how it is anticholinergic action uh, of dicyclomene. Let us uh, discuss the by mean of mechanism of action. Basically, it selectively block a muscarinic receptor which is present in GIT. GIT means gastrointestinal tract. Means uh, dicyclomene selectively block the muscarinic receptor which are present in gastrointestinal tract. Okay, which results the smooth muscles uh, are present in gastrointestinal tract, which results the smooth muscle relaxation will be there. Means uh, result of smooth muscle relaxation prevent spasm of GIT. GIT means again I am repeating gastrointestinal tract. Okay, uh, which results pre prevent of spasm means there will be no spasm means that is anti-spasmodic activity. Anti-spasmodic activity means due to the spasm in our gastrointestinal tract there, there will be the uh, colic pain uh, means because of blockage of selectively mus muscarinic receptor uh, dicyclomene have a different two uses first one you first use first use is that is first that is irritable bowel syndrome means because of irritation or uh, our muscles have a spasm which gives uh, relaxation or vomiting induced uh, in that particular condition the second one that is spasm of intestine a spasm of intestine means con due to the spasm of intestine we um, patient have the colic pain uh, if colic pain is there then we can prefer uh, or doctor prefer to prescribe the dicyclomene uh, and dicycloberine okay uh, now it is the basically mechanism of action as well as well as using how it is important in, uh, in the different competitive exam try to understand first point is the uh, next uh, selectively inhibition of what is muscarinic receptor second one is the what is that um, smooth muscle relaxation or third is the uses of uh, dicyclomene these three points are important for the dicyclomene. Okay, now come to the structure means chemistry point of view. This is the structure of dicyclomene. How it can be correlated? Uh, if you will see the structure of dicyclomene, you will get the idea about. This is I think you will uh, easily uh, got the point that is the ester linkage. That is ester linkage and this one is the tertiary. Nitrogen moiety, tertiary nitrogen that is uh, we can say amino group. Okay, this means the amino means three degree amino group. Clear? And uh, which uh, which have a two ethyl moiety. These are two ethyl moiety. Okay. Now come to the here. Uh, this one the two uh, one ethyl bridge. It is also known as ethyl bridge. Okay, ethyl bridge. What is the meaning of bridge which, uh, which is adjoining the two functional groups that is uh, this functional group and this functional group and this is the astral linkage in uh, as you know this one what is this this is uh, what cyclohexane uh, it doesn't have any double board inside means again it is again no double bond are present means both rings are cyclohexane what is that cyclo 
exam. Okay. Now, di, um, means two uh, di, uh, two rings are means dicyclo. Then you can correlate dicyclo one cyclo and another one cyclo that is dicyclo. Amine means you can rem remember that uh, amine means easily you can correlate the structure uh, with the name dicyclo. Mean di di for two cyclo means dicyclo hexane cyclo hexane cyclo hexane means there is a two cyclo hexanes are present. Now come to the uh, uh, IPC name of this molecule. If you will get that, it is the basically simply it is very simple. That is uh, ester as we have discussed. That is the one carbon ester means also known as carboxylate. Carbo instead of carboxylate, you can also write the methanoid. Okay, the methanoid. One carbon uh, ester known as methanoid, or you can write also carboxylate. Now, carboxylate have uh, in uh, how we can write the name of this structure. Uh, just try to remember. Then, if I will put the one structure that is CWO C two H five. In this fashion, we will write the name of this molecule. That is, I think you will easily write means ethyl acetate. Okay. Ethyl acetate means that this part is the acetate, this part is the ethyl. Similarly, uh, here this part is our carboxylate and this part is alkyl part means it will be right previous before to this and this uh, uh, two cyclohexanes we have to write or we have to show. Uh, means, try to understand the uh, first one. Di uh, carboxylate have carboxylate this one carboxylate uh, carboxylate have one cyclohexane. See, try to understand this one the cyclohexane. Then I have written the cyclohexane. Fine. Cyclohexane have a first position. Cyclohexane first position have the substitution of cyclohexane. Means cyclohexane. Uh, first position have cyclohexyl that clear means again then what is the uh, alkyl part this is the ethyl means this is ethyl this one the amino this one the amino uh, these two means diethyl uh, diethyl amino is present on one and two carbon means first or second carbon second carbon have diethyl amino this part is a diethyl amino correct means amino group diethyl diethyl amino second second carbon have second diethyl amino which one two ethyl means one uh, one hexyl one one cyclohexyl cyclohexane and carboxylate this is the ipc name of this molecule okay means it is simply as good as if you will break the structure break the structure then you can easily remember the structure as well as the ipc name okay now come to the synthesis of dicyclomene dicyclomene synthesis uh, this is the dicyclomene synthesis try to understand each reaction that is see what is this uh, it is starting material this is the acetonitrile and this is the phenyl this is this part is phenyl okay and this part is acetonitrile acetonitrile okay that's why it is known as phenyl acetonitrile that is phenyl acetonitrile okay now this part is a phenyl acetonitrile Come to the next. This one is the how much carbons? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. A 5 carbon having terminal substitution. 5 carbon chain that is terminal substitution that is known as 5 carbon that is penta. That means pentylene. That is pentylene dibromide. Dibromide. This is the name of this molecule. Uh, five carbon containing uh, two nitrogen at terminal carbon known as uh, pentylene. Okay, this is a pentylene dibromide. It is simply condensation reaction. This one the reaction our first reaction that is condensation reaction. How it undergoes uh, two bromine, two bromine by substituted by these two hydrogen. 
रिमूवल ऑफ टू हाइड्रोजन मीन्स टू एच बी आर विल बी रिमूव एंड दिस कार्बन हैव सिंपली विल पार्ट ऑफ दियर कार्बन देन इट विल गिव ए साइक्लिक स्ट्रक्चर दैट विल बी दिस वॉज साइक्लिक Okay, this intermediate is treated with as it is the sino group. What is this? Sino group. Sino group uh, is hydrolyzed as well as uh, for the esterification. Here, uh, two uh, step, step number two. This one is step number first. Okay, this uh, step uh, first is uh, there. There will be two reaction. That is first one the hydrolysis. Hydrolysis. Sino group completely acidic hydrolysis converts to that is carboxylic group, carboxylic group, and second is the ethanol that means give the esterification means that is esterification. Okay, here means two reactions are there means simply uh, this sino group will convert into ethyl ester. This is the ethyl ester. Okay, now. This is ethyl ester. Then uh, this uh, molecule is treat, uh, treated uh, with this. Means how it can be? See, try to understand. This part is alcohol part. Alcohol part. And here ester means if ester is treated with alcohol. After is treated with alcohol, then that uh, methoxy group, then methoxy group it will be removed. That is C C S three C H two and H O H. That will be removed, and this hydrogen will be taken by this part, and this part will be completely uh, adjoined like this. Here, this part will be completely like this. Means here. One alcohol group is removed and another alcohol moiety is attached to the respective ester, having the side chain of dicyclomene. Means this reaction known as that is our reaction. Third reaction that is trans esterification. Trans esterification. Trans esterification means. Uh, alkyl part is converted into by substituted by another alkyl part. Means one ester is converted to another ester by mean of different alcohol known as trans esterification. This uh, is the, our intermediate. This intermediate have a one only one uh, difference on, from our dicyclomene that is double bond present in. This ring system. That's why reaction number fourth will be carried out by mean of in presence of hydrogen and platinum oxide, which cause selective means for reaction number four that did that cause selective reduction of benzene ring. Means complete saturation of this benzene ring that gives the uh, dicyclomene. That gives the dicyclomene. This is our dicyclomene. Okay, this is the uh, complete synthesis of dicyclomene. Just time quick revision. Uh, phenyl acetonitrile is treated with pentylene dibromide, which gives our intermediate. That is sino derivative. Sino derivative come completely hydrolyzed into carboxylic acid. Which is esterified by the alcohol that is ester linkage. After this ester undergo trans esterification by mean of side chain containing OH group that form the ester side chain. Uh, that ester side chain having a benzene ring which is completely reduced by in presence of hydrogen uh, platinum oxide. That is the selective reduction of benzene ring which result the formation of dicyclomene. Okay, this is the complete overview of the dicyclomene, which includes we have discussed that oh, first one the mechanism of action, the, including the category as well as the usage of dicyclomene, then structure and IUPAC name of uh, dicyclomene, then last is the synthesis of dicyclomene. In university exam, there will be a question may be there, and then write short note on dicyclomene. Then you have to complete. Um, uh, write up of uh, complete lecture or uh, if question will be there 
then give the synthesis of dicyclamine then you have to write the complete the synthesis and try to uh, uh, include the name of reaction or type of reaction which must be explained then it will be 100 percent marks will be there okay and competitive exam point of view we, uh, we have discussed about the that is mechanism of action means selective uh, blockage of muscarinic receptor present in the GIT which cause uh, which cause the smooth muscles relaxation that is the competitive exam point of view question okay